one where they don't want you. Can't you just not show up where they don't want you? Just what, what manner of human being is this? But, but I haven't done anything. Ah! Ima! Ima! Ah! Sir, sir! Sir! Get this specimen of wretchedity out of my compound! Oh, okay, sir. Out! Ninkompu! Oga! Alright, fine. I'm, I'm going. Go! Ima! Make sure he doesn't come back here. If I see this guy inside this compound, you, your head is going to be inside fire. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Think of Check Dr. Ed. Can, can, you, can you imagine? No perfume. Hmm? No, no specimen of liquidity. At all. Oblong material. No evidence of pecuniary spender, and you come to my house. Mm? No. Let us go inside before I speak to the one that's <laughs> not <laughs> in the dictionary. Very jo jobless. Huh? Mm. Eh? What is it? What's it's, wrong? It's, it's not that I'm fine. No, you're not fine. I mean, you you don't look good. And what happened to your clothes? What is it? <coughs> Babe, talk to me. What happened? Okay, I'll tell you. I, I, I decided to pay you a surprise visit not knowing you were not around. And on getting to your house, your parents harassed me and insulted me. Look, I'm so sorry, okay? I'm sorry for what my parents did to you. I... Take this. Juicy, just, just go fix yourself up. Buy no, anything don't, don't you do want that. to don't, buy. Just don't do that, please. Chooks, don't do this. Take. I'm giving it to you. Take. Take it. Fix yourself up, okay? It's fine. It's okay. Look. I am deeply sorry for everything my parents is doing. I want you to be strong. Be strong for me. For us, we are going to win at last, okay? I love you very much. I love you more. I'll see you later, okay? I, I'll just be on my way. Make sure you call me. I'll call you. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the similitude of the ignorant from that macadamized wretch of the earth? Look, the next time that boy comes to this house, he will not have mouth to tell this story. Chief, Pico, calm down, eh? Calm down. You cannot be telling me to calm down. I, I, I have told that our daughter. I have told our daughter to cut off every association she has with that, with that. What do I even call him now? Mm. And she will not hear. And then I have even told, I have even told, told, told the useless lack of <laughs> a megalomaniac poor man. If, if I see him here again, 
He will not like it. He will not like it. Chief, calm down. Eh? Calm what is down. The, what is what is the meaning of what you both did to my fiance? Fiagin. Fia what? Fiance. Is it that useless jokes or another person? Because I don't I don't understand the English. Sorry. Yes. Chooks. And the earlier you both start seeing him as part of this family, the better for us. Never! This is very careful to me. I said never. Let me warn you. Your future husband, Stanley, he will soon be here. And I will never marry Stanley, Dad. I will never marry him. Chooks is the man after my heart. Chooks is my heart desire. The one my heart yearns for. I will never marry Stanley, Dad. And there is nothing you or Mom would do to change my mind. Nothing. Come back here. I'm not finished talking to you. Look, look, Kaima. I said, come back here. Retrace your full step from the steps. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Chief, is this love or is it madness? In fact, I, I don't understand these children of this day, so. Eh? Is this how you loved me that time? Come in. Yes, mom. You should come downstairs. Someone is here to see you. You're sorry, right? Don't ask silly questions. Just come downstairs and see who it is, okay? I'm coming. Don't be long. and all those things. Yeah. That we are yes. talking about. Exactly. My father told me about it. Yes, yes. You know, I had agreed with him for the importation of all those things. Yeah. Even before I left. Okay. Uh -huh. So I, I, I believe that when his goods come, you know, he will have mine inside the... Uh, oh, mommy. Good day, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. You're welcome. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Uh -huh. <laughs> Where is she? Oh, she's coming. She was right behind me. All right. She's coming. All right. All right. Mm. Yes, Dad, I'm here. Hey. Come on. How are you? That's enough. Ah. Chikaima, what's the meaning of that? How dare you embarrass my guest like that? Same way you embarrassed my guest. Babe, are you okay? You are the one that is not okay. You're not okay. And who are you calling your baby? Huh? Look, I know you have the money. You have all the connections. You're already made. But I will never stoop so low as to date an illogical creature like you. I will not. And you had better stop coming here for your own good. Unless you're ready to get married to either of my parents. Stop coming here. Come back here, Chikayama. Look, I will not take that nonsense. Chikayama, come back here. In fact, Chikayama, come back here, I said. Chikayama. Chikaima! Look! You're guessing on my nerves, Kaima! And you don't like the other side of me! You wouldn't like what I would do! What would you do, Dad? No, what would you do? You have put me through all sorts of humiliation! Are you still trying to force a man on me? You even tried him to deal with me! To humiliate me! What else have you not done, Dad? Go out there now and apologize. Apologize for what? 
Why should I apologize to him? Because he's your fiancé, your future husband. Jokes is my fiancé. Jokes is my future husband, not Stanley. It's him or nobody else. Let me even call him. My son, I apologize for my daughter's attitude. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> Chief, it's fine. I, I understand. But for how long would this continue? I mean, I'm getting sick and tired of this whole drama. Who is that? The door is open. Come in. Come in, oh. Ah! You again? What are you looking for in my house? I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but Gamma called me and asked me to. I thought. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Is this the thing that is distracting my woman from me? Yes, he's the one. That is the man after my heart. Gamma! You mean, you mean, you invited this wretch, this nincompoop, this simpleton without any pecuniary spender into my house after all my warnings? So you are the one who's got the nerves, the gods, the temerity to share my woman with me. Do you know who I am? Do you? Stop! Oh, oh, stop! 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 I was trying to resolve this matter. Mom, that is not true. You were not trying to resolve anything. Do I lie? Do I lie? Mom, they were beating him and you helped me. You didn't even try to stop them. You Just helped me. calm down. No, Mom, I need to go. They are beating you. I need to Stay go. here. Mom, stop. Mom, you're not going to resolve anything. Nothing no, you're not going to, to resolve him. anything. What happened to him? Stop, Mom. Mom, just let me go. Let me go. I need to see you. I need now, to see you. Now, calm down. Calm down. Calm down.
my God. You want some? No, you should want some. It should help you relax. No. No. Think of me. 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 Think of After dealing with this boy in this house, after dealing with this boy, he will not see the eye to find my house ever again. Neither will he dare come near my daughter ever again. If I let me call the police oh, to bundle him out of Um, Chief, there's no need inviting the police over this. That boy has to be taught a lesson that he will not forget in a hurry. Okay. Honestly. Chief, relax yourself. Whenever he regains consciousness, just allow him to go. Okay, um, I'll be on my way now. I have some things to meet up with. Uh -huh. Yes. Let me give you some steps. Yes, okay, let's go. Thank you, sir. Yes. <clears throat> Where is Jukes? Where is Jukes? Where is Jukes? Jesus, Jukes! Jukes, what happened to you? What did they do to you? Jukes, Dad, what happened to him? Jukes, what did you do to Jukes? What happened to him? What did you do to Jukes? I didn't do anything. What did they do to you? Dad, what did you do to Jukes? What did you do to him? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do anything. Dad, you did something. What did you do to him? Jukes, what is happening? What is wrong with to develop headache over this small issue. <laughs> eh? Who was your business? What is your business? They drugged my mom and you expect me to be happy. Am I supposed to be happy more, Papa? Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> you are accusing your father and Stanley falsely. Were you there? Mom, they planned this. They planned Were it. Were you there? They planned it, Mom. They did. Oh, they planned it. And that was why you helped me in the room because you didn't want me to come out and stop them. Ginny, 
<laughs> because you know what they were doing. Look. They all planted. Come. Honey. You see that ninkum poop you call a fiance? You see what he's doing? You see what he's doing? You know what, Dad? Listen, Dad. I have nothing to say to you. But just know that giving chicks hard drugs and making him run mad. Just so I will leave him. I will not leave him, Dad. I will not. And there is nothing you, Mom, Stanley, or anybody can do about it. Did you just accuse me? No. Of it's not an accusation. But it's a fact. A fact. And I want you to know that God will pay you for everything you're doing to Jews. Everything you're making Jews go through. God will surely pay you. Everything you did to Jews, God will pay you. We will plan to drop you. Kaima. Kaima. Is this girl insane already? Should we have sent her to the psychiatric too? Come in, the door is open. Kaima, where are you dressed like this for? I need to go see my man. Your man? Oh, Stanley, you mean? Mom, where was Chooks taken to? What's the name of the hospital? Where is it located? <sighs> I'm sure you know that's the last information I will give to you. You better go and undress and go and apologize to Stanley. Stop it, mom. Are you telling me where Chooks is or not? Don't let your father hear you asking me that silly question. You know he will be cross with you. Fine. I'll find out myself. Kaima, stop stressing yourself. <laughs> Do you live around here? Yes, I live. Do you know of any psychiatric hospital? Mm, no, 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 I don't. Uh, thank you. Hi. Please, do you know any psychiatric hospital around here? Any one at all? How are the people at home? They're fine, sir. You know, I was planning to... Ah, okay. Hey, Stanley. Oh, mommy. Ah, ah, how are you? I'm fine, mommy. How are your parents? They're fine, mommy. Ah, ah, looking so handsome, eh? <laughs> Thank you, mommy. <laughs> Maria, eh? get Kaima to come and uh, meet Stanley. Okay. Oh, here she is. Ah, she's here already. Oh. Kaima. I saw mommy. Your future husband is here now. Meet... Kaimba! Kaimba, come back here! Ka Excuse me. Kaimba!
Close that gate, my friend. Sir? Close that gate now. Close that gate immediately. Okay, okay sir. What is this? Kaima, let me have my car keys. Henceforth, you have no right to any of my cars here. <laughs> you must be joking, Dad. I have every right to use any car, however and whenever I want to, because they are my father's property. They are your father's property? Yes. You, open that gate, yes. now. My friend, if you, if you open that gate, consider yourself fired. Oh. Ma, 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 ma. My car keys. Why should I give you your car keys? Dad, let me have my car Why keys. Why should I let you have the car keys? Bring it back. And open that lock. Bring back this. Sir? Man? Hey! Sir? My sister, well done, no? Yes, yeah. I beg, eh? You know any psychiatric hospital around here? Hospital plenty for year. I don't know that one. So you don't know any psychiatric hospital at all? Okay, now I remember. You get one way there for Freetown Street. Freetown? Oh, I know the place, I know the place. Thank you very much. Okay, where you go there, you ask them. Thank you very much, eh? God bless you. Eh, um, how much is your watermelon? My watermelon. That big one. My watermelon. It's one, two. One, two. Oh, yeah, bring it, sir. Thank you. My son. Sir. I'm sorry about my daughter's attitude towards you all this while. I'm sorry. Um, it's all right, sir. It's fine. I'll like to equally apologize on her behalf. I believe she'll come back to her senses very soon. Um, Mommy, it's all right. I also believe she will come back to her senses. I mean, I can't wait for that to happen. A little more patience, my son. A little more patience. It's okay, sir. Maybe she's going through some stress. Hmm. But like her mother said, very soon, she'll come back to her it's all right, sir. Um, sir, I will be on my way now as I have one or two activities to run for my father. All right. All right. All right.
Where are you coming from? I went in search of my fiance. Since you people decided to keep his location away from me. Sweetheart. I don't understand. What is it about this poor mad boy that you cannot let go? What? Fine. I know his poor mom. And I know that you people teamed up to make him lose his senses. But I, Kaima, I would rather stick with him than bow down to you people's pressure to date that bunch of pride. That one that feels that he can get anything he wants because his father has money. Kaima, are you okay? You have a young, handsome, wealthy man asking you out. But you keep turning him down because of, because of that jukes. Are you okay? Education and wealth without manners is useless. Absolutely useless. I'm so stressed right now, Mom. Allow me go inside. You can enjoy your house in peace. Enjoy it. I don't need the stress. I don't need it. Hey, baby, you're back. Who's your baby? Who are you calling baby? What do you want? Oh, so you think I don't know what you and my parents did to my fiance, right? I don't what did you do to him? I don't understand. Oh, come on, save the pretense. Stop pretending. I know what you did. Yeah. You think I don't know that you people must have forced him to take some hard substance? You think I don't know? Hey, babe, what are you talking about? Stop all this. I came here for us to sit down and talk. Get out. Leave. I should leave? Yes. Why? I do not want to see you here. What? Leave. Get out. What's going on? Kaima, what's going on? Tell him to leave on? before I lose it. Tell him to, to, to get out. Get, what? get what out. What is it? What leave. is it? Stop. Get out. Get out. Get out. Excuse me. Leave. Why? Yeah, tell him to leave. Come here. Come here. Come here. Leave me alone, Dad. Chikaima, why do you want to ruin me and my business? Eh? What I, have I done? I am doing nothing wrong. I am not trying to ruin you nor your business. You are the one haunting yourself by trying to force Stanley on me. Look. I have built a flourishing business with Stanley's father. A long-standing flourishing business with Stanley's father. And you marrying Stanley will go a long way in bolstering my incentives in that business. And, also and what's that? Dad, and what? Are you... Are you trying to sell me off for incentives? Oh, I see. Dad, like, you, you give birth to me, watch me grow, just to exchange me for incentives? Now I see. Oh, so you want to reintroduce slavery on my head? Is that it, Dad? Well, it won't work. Listen. I, 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 I never wanted to send you off. That's not my, that's, that's not my intentions. I just wanted to get married to someone reasonable. Someone useful and not some inconsequential wretch. Look, let this be the last time you will 
insult that young man or else I'll be forced to disown you. Dad, you will do no such thing. And please, tell Stanley to stay away from me. Let him stay far away from me. Because the next time, he will see a bunch of my bad side. Next time. We shall see. We shall see. You're here reading book. Why your daughter is out there abusing Stanley? What? Look, look, look. It's about time you talk to your daughter. I will not have Kaima ruin an age-long relationship that I built with Stanley's father. You remember how things were with me when we got married? Eh? And you remember how Stanley's father came and stood by me and helped me to become what I am today? I will not have Kaima ruin that, destroy that all in the name of her stubbornness. I know. It's okay. Stop stressing yourself. I'm going to talk to Kaima, and I'm sure by the time I'm done, she will understand and she will marry Stanley. I don't care whether she understands or not. She is my daughter. She should obey me. She will obey you. I want to rule. Yes! I want to rule. Please hold your hand. Oh, my love. I want to rule. For days now, I have not set my eyes on my babe, the man after my heart. I don't know his health condition. I don't even know if he has eaten anything or not. All my effort to locate where he is proved abortive. I was full of hope when that young lady told me she knows a psychiatric hospital. For getting there, the love of my life was nowhere within. How do I locate him? How? What is it? Auntie Kaima? Why are you crying this early morning? I've been looking for Chooks. Can't find him. Since they took him to the hospital, I've not set my eyes on him. <laughs> Why are you crying for a mad person? He's mad. Where you have somebody like uh, 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 Stanley that will take care of Will you me? shut up your mouth? Sorry, ma. Shut up and get out of here. I I'm very sorry, ma. Get lost. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, ma. Uh, uh, um, 
But if you really want to see truth, uh, my boss is one of the people that come here that they can carry truth. Wait. Are you serious? I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Please, where can I find this boss of yours? Where can I, where can I find your friend? Please, where did they take him to? I need to find him. <laughs> Please, Ima, hmm? you need to help me, okay? You really need to help me. Please. Okay. Uh, uh, um, uh, that means I, will, I have to call him. Uh, okay. So that I will make inquiry. Uh, Please so call him now. Uh, you need to give me some more time so that I will call him when in the office. Okay. Uh, you know what you will do? When you're done talking to him, let me know. Okay? okay? Just let me know, please. When you're done talking to him, please help me, okay? I need to find him. Okay, okay madam. I, I will help you. But don't cry again, yeah? Don't cry again, yeah? Don't cry, please. I won't cry. I, I don't want to see you crying again. You did not so hard for me. Don't worry, I won't cry again. Don't cry again, yeah? Please, uh, please Don't worry, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> What exactly do you want now? What do you want? Please, just obey your father and marry the man he wants you to marry. Can you hear yourself out? Can you listen to yourself? Oh, so I should obey my father against my own wish? I should enslave myself for... Business incentives? Is that what you call peace? Listen, when your father's business crashed and we did not have anything, we didn't even know what to do. It was Stanley's father who helped us mom, to find mom, back mom, our feet. Just stop. Save yourself the stress. Why waste your energy and saliva in narrating the story I never asked for? Even if I did, that would not make me change my mind. I would never change my mind. There has been too much chaos in this house all these days. Please, let us have some peace. If peace is forcing a man on me or enslaving me, then to hell with it. To hell with it. Woman, I asked you to talk to your daughter. And you're here blabbing. Dean, I already talked to her. But you know how stubborn she is. I don't know what else to, to do. Hmm. You better not know what else to do than to expect me to allow her end up with that wretch of the earth. Someone that we don't even know whether he will ever come back to his senses again. Chief, honestly, what you are doing is not proper. Why do you want to force Kaima to marry a man that she does not love? Eh? Just because of your... Woman, get up and get out of my sight now. I said, get up and get out of my sight. I'm sorry, Chief. I'm sorry. But if it were you, would you marry a woman you don't love just to please your parents? Eh? Would you would you marry a woman you don't even have any feelings for just because of incentive and friendship? Woman. Just try and put yourself in her shoes now. Woman. I said, get out of my sights now. You, go and put yourself in your shoes. Go, go and put yourself in your shoes. Did you? You haven't told me anything. Oh, sorry. You know, you said you were going to call your friend and, and it's already past work time. 
Uh, What's going on? Sorry, I, I wanted to come inside though, but because of too much question from your parents, I no come inside again. Okay. I see my wait, may you come. So did you talk to him? He did, did he give you the address? Yes, yes, he sent me the address of the hospital. <laughs> he did? Yes. Okay, so where is it? Are you, are you going out again? Yes. Or don't I have the right to go out anymore? No, now. Nobody is saying you don't have the right to go out anymore. It's because you have been out all day. You just came in and you are going out again. Look, mom, I, I have something to do. Mom, I, I need to catch up with something. Can't that wait till tomorrow? Mom, we can't wait. It's, it's very urgent. Uh, but you know the situation in the country. Eh? The security situation is very, very bad. Mom, I have to go. I have it's to go. Almost night. I have to go, Mom. Are you living without your car? I'm not going with anything. Yeah. That reminds me. Yeah. Your card? This is my ATM card, okay? What I have a little money in there that I would want you to use to get me something. But I'm going to tell you that later. Ima, eh? listen, on no account should you tell anyone that I went in search of chooks. Please. I will not tell anybody. Please don't tell anyone, I, okay? I will not even tell anybody. Pim! Okay. Then. The pin of the ATM is the last four digits of my MTN number. Okay? Okay. I have to go now. I Don't anybody. tell anyone. I will not tell anybody anything. By this time, and you allowed her. Chief, what would I have done? I should have tied that rope or what? I did everything, said everything to dissuade her, but it all fell on deaf ears. There's nothing I could have done, no. <laughs> okay, so, 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 where exactly did she say she was going to? She said she has something urgent to attend to. 
I told her about the security state of the country. And she didn't even bother. She walked away. Hey, what type of stiff-necked and disobedient child we have been blessed with? She's like you. Chief, like me. Eh? She is stubborn like you. Like daughter, like father. I just hope that she's safe wherever she is. That's all I can say for now. I said there's nothing I did not see. Nothing. She still walked away. Is it me like this that I want to draw her and pull her back? Me? What a blatant disregard of constituted authority in this house. you how you are. I said, do you recognize me? Huh? There is hope. There is hope. Look at what they did to you. See what they did to you. Look, I promise I will not leave this place until you get back to your senses. Okay? <laughs> I love you so much. I love you and I will stand by you in any situation. I love you. I love you. I know. You're my love. You're my love. You're my love. You're my love. I love you. Don't You're my love. Fine, okay? Just look at it. Look at the time. After midnight. And you allowed our daughter to leave at the time she left. Now she's still not back. She's still not back. Stop blaming me for your daughter's stubbornness. There was nothing I didn't say, but she insisted on going out. What would I have done? She's stubborn. So what? So I should lose my daughter because she's stubborn. I think we should just stop this noise and start thinking about how we'll get our daughter back. Have you even called Stanley? Do you know whether she went to Stanley's place? I have not, but I am 100% sure she didn't go to Stanley's place. Where's my handset? Woman, where's my handset now? Did she mention where she was going to? She didn't. I just pray nothing happens to her. Nothing will happen to my daughter. Not while I am alive. Chief, I, I will suggest we report this issue to the police. You are very right. Yes. Reporting this to the police will be of immeasurable help to us. In that case, darling, go and get my car keys. Let's go to the police station. Okay. Chikaima will not kill me. That girl will never kill me. Chief, calm down. We will find her. Sweetheart, how was your night? I love you. I know you love me. I'm asking you how your night was. Love. Sweetheart, look at me. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you 
you okay? Love, 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 love. I want to ask you something. And I need you to be totally honest with me. Do you understand? Yes, ma. Okay, ma. I I'm listening, ma. I hear you. Where did my daughter go to? I don't know. She not tell me where she go. Do you think that if you lie to me, I will not let her find out? Eh? Is that what you are thinking? Because I saw her talking to you shortly before she left. And now you are telling me you don't know where she went to. Where did she tell you she was going to? When she was going out, I asked her if she's not going out with her car. She said no. She said she wants to go with a bike, a bicycle. I called the answer, ah, you know not carry your car, come on. She can't say yes, she don't want to go with her car. The only way till we talk, I don't know where she go. If I later find out that all these things you have just blabbed is false, what should I do to you? Uh, 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 mommy, uh, you, you know you, you are my mother. You are like my own mama. I, I don't feel like to you now. How I go like to my mother? I don't know where she go. I don't know. She don't tell me where she go.
Reported to the police. Mm -hmm. Oh, and what did the police say? Hey, where? They promised to swing into action. They always promise to swing into action. Did they say anything tangible? What? They promised to get to the root of the reason for her disappearance. As well as finding where she is. Yeah. I don't understand. I'm really, really very worried. Because if she was kidnapped, by now the kidnappers will have already called and demanded for ransom or something. But as it is, we don't even know. I, I, I don't know. I'm confused. Eh? What are we going to do? Well, I think we should just leave everything in the hands of people. And be at a lot too. Hmm? Hey. Hmm. Please, can you get me water to drink? Okay, then. Auntie? Ima, how are you? I, I, I cannot fit tell you how I feel right now. I cannot fit tell you how I feel right now. Your mother has been asking me about you, where you go. Everybody is bothered. Never you tell anybody where I am. No, I decrease. I lie to I lie to her. I tell her I no know your whereabouts at all at all. Eh, uh, uh, Auntie, you give me thing I go do for you. you to go withdraw money from the account. I want you to get me fruit. Yes, and buy me milk as well. You know, I will just, I will text you everything. Just, I will direct you, okay? And please make sure you don't come to the hospital during the day. Come at night, all right? And let me know when you're at the hospital. And please, don't tell anyone where I am. It's better you lose your job than tell anybody where I am. I trust you, Amy. I trust you. Thank you. Thank you very much.
What did I ever do to deserve this kind of child? I did everything for Chikaima. I trained her from crutch to the university. I never allowed her to lack anything. Kaima got double of everything she asked for. I did all that hoping to get a heartwarming reward. But what did she do? Go against all my instructions in my house. And when she felt like, she just ran out of the house. Where did I get it wrong? Where? I'm at the front of the hospital gate with the stuff you asked me to buy. Oh, okay, okay. You know what? Don't let anyone see you. No, nobody see me where I am now. Good. You know what you will do, eh? Just follow the lonely back path. Eh? You will see a little opening. Just stretch your hand to that opening. Yes, it's opposite the window. Okay. Uh, but I hope so nobody will catch me. Oh. No, 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 no. See, before you even get there, my hands will be out. I'll be waiting. Okay, 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 okay. Please, don't shine any light. I'm waiting. Yeah, DPO. Yeah, this is several weeks now that um, I reported the disappearance of my daughter. I've not gotten any reasonable or tangible response from you people. Chief, believe me, we have been working tirelessly to ensure we get a reasonable information as regards to her whereabouts. Tirelessly? For how long? How long? How long will it take? This is several weeks. How long will it take before you give you and your men? Why is, why is it taking so long for you and your men to give me a reasonable response? I understand how you feel, Chief. But you have to give us time, exercise, something. You don't else. understand how I feel. Patience. Patience. I've already, I've already lost my patience. Patience. How long has it, has it taken? Patience. You... Chief, please calm down. Like I earlier said, I am a man and walking tirelessly towards this. I will be okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, all right. All right. I've had you. It's okay. Thank, Thank you. you Dean. Who are you shouting at? Is it not that deep you are these men that said they, they, they will get to the root cause of the disappearance of our daughter? Up to now, nothing. Oh, I 
they've got any need for you. Nothing! And they're asking me to be patient. Yeah. How long are we going to be patient? Uh -huh. Have we not been patient enough? No, our name has become patient. This is nonsense and the ingredients inside the nonsense of it. Newspaper publication will be of a great help in a time like this. Will it be of any help? Shif, I really think so. Everybody reads newspaper these days. And all the newspapers have their social media platforms, of which when they post on the social media and publish in their newspaper, it goes viral. That's very true. Publishing it in the newspaper will make the story go very far. And I think we might get lucky this time. Uh, in that case, we find uh, one of these newspaper outlets and go talk to them while waiting for the policeman to conclude. That's, that's, that's on the safer side. Uh, Mommy, is there any newspaper outlet around here? the things you miss about me. There's a lot of things I miss about you. Like what? <laughs> How you pamper me when I'm angry. The kisses. The, the sweet names you call me. And a lot more. Oh. And I miss you too. I miss you so much. Very soon we're going to be out of this place. Okay, all right? Because this place is not conducive at all. I just can't wait to leave this place. I know. <laughs> You're going to leave here soon, all right? Okay? The country is on fire. The country is on fire. Hey, nothing is no. on fire. You're just, okay. There's no case coming. Hey, yeah. Mr. Case, come here. Jerry Smith is not okay. okay. Now, are you okay? Very soon. Everywhere we smell okay. Mr. Case, come here. Hey, hey Lanty. Are they washed clothes? Oh. Sorry for this. Hey, no problem. You don't have to be, you don't have to be sorry. Uh, uh, hi, it's Chus. I hope he's getting better. Yes, he is, but not mentally stable yet. Hey, yeah. Don't worry. As you are there with him, he will soon be fine. He will soon be okay. Yeah? Uh, 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 Auntie, I could do anything for you. Oh, yes. I want you to buy some stuff and bring for me tonight. <laughs> Yes. Okay, Auntie, just send me the things you want. I will okay, I will text it to you now. Huh? Immediately after the. Give me jump. You have been stressing yourself so much lately, eh? Everything will be fine. 
What can I do? Every option I'm taking is not yielding positive results. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. There's something I wanted to discuss with you, but I know it will not go down well with you, so I'm a little bit skeptical. What is it? It's about that boy, Chooks. Since he has been in that psychiatric hospital, none of us has bothered to go and see him. Oh, if you don't have anything important to say, please, just leave my side. Chief, that boy is also somebody's child. And his only offense is falling in love with our daughter. I don't know what you and Stanley did to him that made him to lose his mind. He has been in that hospital for, for so many months. And, and none of us went there to see him, Chief. It's not nice. I'm talking about my daughter. You're telling me about some wretched boy in, in, a, in a sanatorium. Him too, he's somebody's child. He needs attention as well. He's also a human being. Hey, Chief, think it too. Think it well. Hello. Madam. Leave my side now. Just leave my side now. Chief. I beg you. Just leave my side. Woman, where are you headed? I want to go to the hospital. Which hospital? The psychiatric hospital. I want to go and see the boy Chooks. He may know the whereabouts of our daughter in case he, he has recovered. Just listen to yourself. Eh? A madman knowing the whereabouts of your own daughter. Chief. Something keeps tugging at me to go, go to that hospital. Something just keeps drawing my mind. I just want to go there and let me just go there and see. Now, what happened? Our daughter is in the same hospital with Chooks. What? What's she doing there? I was told that she ran mad on the streets. Hence, her admission into the same hospital. That's impossible. Eh? Hold on. Something kept hugging my mind. Something, something kept telling me to go there. To go there. You see? This must have been the reason. Hold on. Let me call Stanley and tell him what you just said. Okay, call. How in heaven's name did my mother get to know that I'm here? Who told her where I am? Yes, 
It must be Ima. Ima leaked the secret despite all my warning. Why must he do such a thing? Now that Chooks is recovering gradually, they want to take me out of here so he will return to square one. No, I will not leave this place. I will remain here, taking care of my man till he gets himself. I don't know where we went um, from that side. Uh, we saw a big, a big car, you know, man. And uh, it's a, uh, all today we saw money and you and uh, everything. I cannot be playing with an issue of such magnitude. Time am mad. How? I mean, how come? I am still in shock. Seeing Kaima in that psychiatric hospital is the biggest shock of my life. Um, Kaima, but Daddy, can we can we start going to the hospital like already? Yes, yeah, let's go. Please. It's okay, no problem. It's all right. Thank you very much for the treatment, for the care you have given so far. Hmm? Thank you very much. We have to be on that. Super, let's go. Chief, I strongly believe Kaima is mad. Because the Kaima that I know will never attack you. I'm so confused because if Kaima is really mad, how come she is still very violent after several weeks of treatment? How? Kaima is not mad. I know that daughter I gave birth to. Kaima is not mad. She tricked herself into that hospital. Just to be with that boy? Um, Chief, I'm sorry, but I disagree with you. Kaima being in that hospital might be a coincidence. Okay, but what we should be worried about now is how to get her back to her normal senses. Please. Oh. Obviously, that hospital is not appropriate for her. I believe we should uh, get her out and put her into a proper psychiatric hospital where she will get the appropriate treatment and medication. Mm. So when are we going back there? So how do you feel now? Well, I 
can share a few, but I'm um, okay. You feel okay? Honey, can you remember anything? Anything that happened two weeks before or, or some months back? Do you remember anything at all? Of course, of course. I, I can remember vividly what happened in the house when I visited. Okay. Tell me. Um, on my arrival to your house, mm -hmm. your, your dad and Stanley, they both held me down and, and beat me mercilessly. You were, you were in tears. You, you were trying to rescue me, but your mom, yeah. your mom held you back and, and, and dragged you off the living room. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, your dad and Stanley took me to an empty room where, where Stanley came back shortly after to force me to sniff on some hard drugs. The last thing I remember was me feeling some type of way. It. I, I, I knew something was wrong. You know what, babe? I'm happy you're fine. I know you're fine now. Very soon we're going to be out of this place, okay? I hope so. Yes, um, this place is not conducive at all. It's not. You know what? Just be calm, okay? Everything will be all right. Thank you for coming here to take care of me. You know I will do anything for you, right? Anything at all. I love you so much. And you know I will always love you. I always love you, my spirit. I know. Transfer her to another hospital. Well, um, she needs proper medication and uh, care. We have been giving her that. Uh, but you see, the thing is that we don't quite trust your facility. Being that she has been here for long and her case is still getting critical. She's getting worse. Madam, we have been trying our best. But if you insist in taking her somewhere else, there is no problem. But the major problem here is that she is very violent and taking her out of here is very hard. We will find a way. We will find a way. Don't you people have security men here? At this, at this stage, I don't know what else to do again. But you cannot give up. Kaima is the only daughter we have. We need to give her all the attention. But what can I do? 
Kaima is obviously very violent. And going by what the nurse said, to get her out of that facility will be very difficult. How about we hire some hefty guys, like bouncers, to help us hold her and bring her out of there? Bouncers? Mm hmm All right. Let, let me call Stanley and see if you can help us arrange something. Okay. But I really need to sleep. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Obviously, you're very fine now. Yes, I'm more okay now. I'm better. We need to leave this place as soon as possible. It's not conducive here. Of course. But then, how do we pay our hospital bills and... Shh. You don't have to worry about that. Everything is under control. Do hmm? you say so? I trust you, my love. The man after my heart. My joy giver. My king. Odogun. Oh, oh sweet. I don't, you don't have to pull my legs from this place. Come on. I don't want you pulling my legs here. Yeah. Chief, you sent for me. Is everything okay? Hey, Stanley, it's about our daughter. Your fiancé. You know, we... My fiancé. Chief, let me tell you now. I am no longer interested in dating or marrying your daughter, Kaima. I mean, what do I have to do? What, what should I be doing with Kaima? Kaima is mad now. She's insane. But we are talking about bringing her out of that psychiatric hospital to a better one. She'll get one very soon. Therefore, I should wait. Chief, I have something more important to do out there. So please, if you can spare me my time, I want to take my leave. Stanley. Stanley what? Why are you talking as if, if I'm your son, will you allow me to marry a mad girl? Like, your daughter is insane. Don't you get it? It is you and your generation that are mad. What's going on here? Nothing. Aside from what you're saying, I am back. And let me clear your doubts a little. I was never mad. I tricked myself into the psychiatric hospital so I can take care of my man. Kaima. Yes, you heard me. Stanley here drugged jokes. The day he came to see me. No. Such a wicked and a heartless man. Mom, Dad, just look at who you wanted me to marry. He's even saying nonsense about my state of health. Does that in any way prove that he loves me? Does it? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Dad. Mom, I'm sorry for disobeying you people all along. But Chooks is the man that I love. My heart desire. The one my heart yearns for. I love him so much. I felt really bad and terrible seeing him taken to the psychiatric hospital. I know it full well that nobody cares for him as an orphan. No one was by his side. I had to search for him. I looked for him. 
And thank God I got his location. I pretended to be mad. Just to get through. I even bribed the nurse there, the one who gives injection. I told her my story and she accepted to help me. She even told me how to act when I see other staff of the hospital. She helped me with a lot of things. I love, I love Chuck so much. And to the glory of God, we came out healthy. Healthy. Chief, you are aware of this. Tell you can get out of my house now. My father will get out of my house now. My father will break your head. Get out. No, my father will hear this. I will deal with you and your father. You will hear from my father, Chief. No, my father will hear this. My father will hear this. From above, I'll never stop loving you. No matter what they do, I'll never stop loving you. No matter what they say, come with me. Trying to stop this kind of love. It's like trying to start a moving high-speed train. You cannot catch up with it. It moves as fast as a rocket plane. Through sickness and health, poverty and wealth, it will stand tribulation. Can stand temptations is a kind of love that special love, the type that's from above. I'll never stop loving you. No, no, no matter what they do, no matter. I'll never stop loving you. Never, never, no matter what they say, come with me. This love is real, this love is real, everyone can see. This love is real, this love is real, everyone can see. Stop. 